Hey guys, it's me Nez. I'm on my lunch break and I wanted to chit chat with you guys for a minute. We are in this Christian race of faith and because we'll never lose our salvation, we're all going to finish the race. The Lord is the author and finisher of our faith. So he is our coach. He coaches us along the way, um, encourages us not to give up on this walk of faith or this race. Um, and he's okay with you walking, you know, you don't have to run. You know, we, we say run this race, but he's not forcing you to run it. Okay, you could just pace yourself, be slow and steady, and you will still win the race, whether you run or you walk. Okay, and I just feel he wants us to just listen, be still and listen for his voice. The Holy Spirit will guide you through everything that you're going through. So wait on him. Wait on him. He will strengthen you. Um, don't run ahead. Don't run ahead. Pace yourself according to his direction. Okay. According to his voice. What he says to you may not be the same thing he's saying to another person. So don't compare yourself. Your race is different from the next man's race. You know, in a, a racetrack, there are different lanes and you can't look at someone else's lane for you to run yours. If you look at somebody else's lane, you're going to, you're going to stumble. You're going to uh, ruin your own race. Okay. So focus on your lane and the person at the end, at the finish line is Christ, is Jesus. And he is also the one cheering from the stands. He's the audience of one. He is all that matters. Every other person, it, it doesn't matter. You know, even in a race, it's what your coach is saying that is in your, in your mind. For every athlete, don't think about the crowds because the crowd could be encouraging you, could be cheering you on, and they could be discouraging you and booing you from the stands. So what they say doesn't matter. What the coach says, who is our God, our coach in this case is God. And what he says matters, is all that matters. So keep your eyes focused on Jesus and run your race at his pace. Run your race at his pace and he will not make you run in such a way that you will be shipwrecked. But the other voice, Satan, he wants to shipwreck you. He will say, run, run as fast as you can. Work as hard as you can. And then you'll burn out. And <laughs> you'll, you'll kind of be stagnant and probably stop in this walk of faith and just give up. And your coach, Jesus, is like, no, don't give up. Even when it gets hard, don't give up. Even when it's, it seems like things are confusing and you don't know which way to go. He says, look to me. Wherever I am, you are. And wherever he is, there's peace, there's joy. Okay. So, look to him. Focus on Jesus. Listen to his voice. Because his voice is the word of God. Okay, he will never lead, lead you astray. And he will never say something to you that will condemn you. His voice is not condemning. His voice is one of love. Is one of encouragement is one that will help you 
to rely on him to lean not on your own understanding but to acknowledge him in all your ways that's what his voice will do for you it's the voice of the holy spirit leading you guiding you so listen to that voice to his voice and you'll run this race in such a way that you'll love it and of course you'll win it okay we have eternal life all right i love you guys i gotta go back to work i'm late all right bye